Guardians coverage begins around 3.30. We'll roll out then. And then 4.10 is your first pitch. Guardians in Cincinnati play the Reds. And then uh, Cavaliers tonight. 35192 if you want to send me a text. And thank you to Tufer Gagoom for helping out in the video department <laughs> today. Tufer. Tufer Gagoom. Nice lady. You want to hear a wild take from a texter on my electric kettle? Mm-hmm. <coughs> of course. Alan, tell those dopes that the kettle is good for letting others get some hot water. Being that Mary is lazy and Bill only cares about his dog, young people want everything to be easy and free. First now, all, there's a lot to unpack here. I First am of not all, young. <laughs> neither Bill nor Mary are young. Second of all, there's nothing wrong with caring about your dog. Thirdly, make no mistake, I will be the only one using my electric kettle. Can I? This is not a. This is not a company kettle. kettle. Class, That's yeah. right. It is my electric kettle. Yes, Mary Santora. He also directly contradicted himself when he's like, "Tell them it'd be easy for them to share." Those idiots who only want everything for free and lazy. Like, mm-hmm. hey, come share my stuff. But that's your downfall is that you want to share things. Listen, uh, and the, the the concept that I would even share it uh, is so foreign to me, especially for free. Right. It would be a <laughs> dollar a cup uh, back there in the office. And the reason why Alan bought this is because he's lazy. You bought that because you didn't want to walk over to the microwave. <laughs> no, anymore. I bought it because that's so that's very labor intensive to walk down the hall, well, still fill laziness. up my cup. So that's what I'm saying is that out of laziness, not wanting to not do out those of laziness. Things. It is laziness. I want it. No, it's not laziness. It's, it's laziness. Because I've been walking this whole time to nuke my water, and mm-hmm. I said I don't want to do this anymore. I'd it's rather taken, be lazy. It's taken me away from other things I need to do. Mm-hmm. Every time I go down there like to fill sit. up. Prepare for this show. I know people think this just comes out of my ass. Every time I want water, I got to walk down the hall. There's one jug. I got to fill it up with cold water. Then I got to walk across. I got to put it in the microwave for two minutes. Mm -hmm. I got to stand there for two minutes. Then I got to get my thing. I got to walk down here. Why do that? No, I have a kettle on my fridge. I go beep, pop, boop. Mm -hmm. Tells me when it's done. Delicious hot water every time. Delicious hot water. Delicious. Oh, delicious. Are you Deliciously just drinking hot water? Hot water? That's it. He's not even putting a tea <laughs> bag in it. He's not putting tea in it, just the straight hot water. Sometimes like there's a tea t- bag in there, and sometimes <laughs> it's just diluted with some lemon water. Yes. I'm still trying to get my, my voice and my throat back into optimum working order. So, thank you very much. Well, <laughs> you can continue to use your tea kettle. I don't need it. I don't... Mary thinks tea kettles. Water. Mary thinks tea kettles are fundamentally pretentious. They are. I I still stand by that. Even after having used them, I'm like, this is so unnecessary and frilly, and just oh, I'm a, look at me when tea kettle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're projecting other people's opinions onto you about using a tea kettle. No, it's my opinion. By the way, a tea kettle is not like a lemon zester or some weirdo kitchen gadget that you get at Sur La Table and pay four times what it normally would. A tea kettle is an extraordinarily common kitchen item. That doesn't make it less pretentious. No, Things by definition it makes and pretentious. By definition it makes it less pretentious. No. If it's a common item. No. <clears throat> Do you think cars are pretentious? Uh, a certain type of car. No, do you think cars are pretentious? A certain type of car. You sure. didn't say. You didn't say a certain type of tea kettle. You said tea kettles that is are pretentious. A type of, of water heating uh, apparatus. Item, apparatus. <clears throat> all right. So that but, would but, be the car. But cars, be... cars are all motion conveyance vehicles, no, cars right? Cars I mean, are cars. Uh huh. Cars. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's see if they got this okay. one. No, yeah. Cars, cars are yep. cars. Right. Do it. So water heating apparatus would be the cars. That's the group. Mm. The tea kettle is the pretentious of that, like the Ferrari. What is another water heating apparatus? A microwave. microwave. Well, that's a, again. A that's a, that's a, a whole other fire? thing, though. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> a bucket on a fire. Why are microwaves less pretentious? I didn't have a microwave growing up. Neither did I. So why aren't microwaves pretentious? Because they are. Here we go. Common. Because <laughs> it's not just doing one thing. <laughs> she it's just not proved one my purpose. She just repeated <laughs> yeah, what no, I no, said. I They're versatile. Out. They're versatile. versatile. Although we did say you could put eggs and ramen in the tea <laughs> kettle, so that's pretty versatile. <laughs> anyway, listen to me. Enough of this Michigas. I want to talk to Dick, who is, let me check my screen, from Dayton, Ohio. How you doing? Dick, what's going on? 
<clears throat> no, not much. Tell Mary and Bill it's only it's only two days left till I got a birthday the same day as the legendary Pete Rose and Loretta Lynn. Oh boy. Pete Rose and Loretta Lynn. Yeah. Born uh, in nineteen now listen to this. Dick's birthday is still Thursday. Active, still nineteen forty eight I was born in Lakewood, Ohio in Saint John's Hospital. Hmm. Listen, um, Dick, is it weird to call the show not from the Lowe's break room? Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. It, it, you, you mentioned that. You know, it is. The, because the day I visited, everybody, I used to use the uh, the phone in the break room where we had the meetings, you know, mm-hmm. where I'd use the phone uh, in lumber, but nobody said anything, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of different, you know. How many days uh, you, <coughs> to mention it's, couple of days until the Guardians home opener. We'll be downtown doing the show live from Pizza 216. But how many days until uh, Mary's at the at the the Chuckle Factory? What is it in Dayton? Wiley's. Wiley's, Wiley's in Dayton. How you, You've uh, publicly said that you're going to be there, Dick. Yeah. Mary, how you doing? I'm good. It's about a month away, May 20th and 21st. I can't wait, Mary. It's going to be great. Wait. Mary, for you, does it feel more like a countdown to something uh, th- that will cause you anxiety? No. Or Because Dick is just beside himself. I'm... He couldn't be more elated. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Mm. I can't wait to meet him. Mm-hmm. I wanted to tell you, too, that uh, last night I go up to, I don't know if you guys ever used great clips in uh one of the managers... I use chip clips. Are those the same thing? Those are great, great clips. clips uh, that likes, uh, she's a big uh, sports fan. She likes the Guardians, you know, and uh-huh. the Browns yeah. and the Cavaliers. Yeah. And she brought her foot up there last night. And I'm going to tell you something. I, I've never seen this place where we played, you know, the Kettering Band. There was about 22 of us, and we stayed over, and we just... Everybody was dancing, having a good time, and... Uh, Thursday, I get to play a gig with the Strummers in Beaver Creek, a tribute to, um, it's going to be a tribute to the uh, armed service people and uh, sort of the Easter Bunny, but, uh, oh, Lowe's, you can't believe Mary and Bill have called me three times to come back to work. They can't find anybody. They've gone through interviews like crazy, at least a hundred, and nobody. They can't find money. anyone who wants to work for as little as Dick was making. It's unbelievable. Yeah. These damn kids. They just yeah. want everything for free. Because they're lazy. Yeah. Right. Well, don't confuse yeah. lazy with efficient, <laughs> Dick. No, no, right. no. But, uh, oh, I'm just, uh, I know, I'm just, uh, I, I'm telling you, the Art Heart Radio, they uh, were down there for a while on yep. Pine Street. Mm-hmm. There was four stations like okay. this. Listen, Dick, I love uh, catching up with you. Thank you, pal, Ricky, for checking Ricky, in. Ricky, I don't know where any of that's going. Ricky, 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 now, and the reason that your kettle is better than the microwave is because it keeps the water hot for an extended period of time. That's another feature on my kettle. It had, literally has a button that says, keep warm, so it will maintain... The temperature of my water it's fine as it's you. sitting there. It just well, yeah, uh, that's that why I'm not sharing water. it with anybody. Yeah, well. No, I fully understand that. I am somebody who requires a lot of hot water for baths. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm in here pumping out hot air every day, Bill. Hot air. You think the why air not hot, hot water? <laughs> hot air. <clears throat> Makes my house hot. Mm. Yeah, and I've put up with a lot of malarkey from this show over the years, but I draw the line at this tea kettle slander from Mary. Hashtag canceled. Listen, this is not Mary's first foray. This is not new information, all right? I'm, I'm, we've been over We've it. been over this. That Someone has Mary is not, me. not team tea kettle. No. I like the ritual of it. I like putting a kettle on, and I like heating it up, and it's, you know. But again, don't confuse lazy with efficient. I'm a master at managing my time. Mm. And so those walks, albeit you might say to yourself, two minutes. That's two minutes. That's two minutes. No, two minutes I'm standing there watching watching water get hot. Yeah, do do that sometimes too. Do push-ups. I'm already doing other stuff. I need to do Mm push-ups. Just saying. You could be better at managing your time. You could have done push-ups for two straight minutes. Get some muscles. It is true. But no, my man and my arms are floppy. Floppy. <laughs> Don't tell my trainer that. I'll get mad. Liz says my birthday is today. Oh, happy birthday, Liz! Is that oh, the Liz God we know? Or? Yeah, I think you. so. 
So I mentioned that I have ring cameras around my house, and I forget that they're always on. And people will often drive by and yell out their windows when I'm outside. And I was working on my house on Saturday. Here's a play of the clip. Hate the show! Hey, what's up? (laughs) (laughs) Because, like, people just pull up and they don't slow down. Like, they might slow down. Yeah, I'm out there working on the house and, like, somebody behind, and by the time I turn around, they, like, sped off. So I don't know who it is. (laughs) But I'm like, oh, God. Mm. Alan, I pictured Dick looking like Hank Hill. He doesn't. Bill's met him. He looks exactly... Well, if you think he looks like Hank Mr. Hill. Mr. Monopoly, he does. like I said. <laughs> yeah, what's that guy's name? Like Pennybags or something? Mr. Pennybags? Old bearded Money man. Bags. Old bearded man. Have you seen... Did you send me the Lindy Corn commercial? The lawyer in Buffalo? Yes. <laughs> so, that. well, people yeah. are dragging this woman, but Lindy Corn is actually a very highly regarded lawyer in the Buffalo area. She's well known up there. Um, it was just a funny commercial. It is a funny commercial. So she's not, I don't know how TV savvy she is. She kind of has that old lady, like low boob shelf vibe going yeah. on there. But she's well known up in Buffalo. And her newest commercial, a clip of it, is making the rounds. My client complained that her boss hugged her and squeezed her breasts, which felt sexual in nature, not like a greeting. Does this sound familiar? If so, call the law office of Lindy Korn. What KRN I, hugged her. What, what I think it is felt sexual. Funny. The breast yeah. squeeze didn't feel like a greeting. How do they greet people in Buffalo? I've only driven honk, through. Honk. I'm, honk. <laughs> Good to see you again, Grandma. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, the boob squeeze is funny, but the hugged her is what killed That's me. That's strange, too. Yeah, the hugged her. Because at first I thought it was a parody of something, and I was waiting for the like jokes to kick in. Nope. I go, oh, no, this is a woman who's Real like commercial. a locally known, yeah. My client complained that her boss hugged her and squeezed her breasts, which felt sexual in nature, not like a greeting. Does this... And what a weird bit of copy. <laughs> the breast squeezing didn't feel like your normal... Greeting. Greeting. She took it a weird way. Imagine that interaction between boss and employee at that time imagine how that would ruin she squeezed her breasts and not in a way that would imply a greeting I, I feel like squeezing breasts as a greeting would kind of ruin boobs yeah it makes it yeah, mundane yeah it makes it just oh it just it's like now you're just shaking hands mm-hmm. it's like a new yeah like it'd be the first day would be great <laughs> <But>. <laughs> joke toilet yeah. it's just for farts <laughs> right <clears throat> Mitch Bryant. Wasn't that the Ooh, Tim Robinson yeah. thing? Yeah. Has this ever happened to you? Has this ever happened to you? My client complained that her boss hugged her <laughs> and squeezed her breasts, which felt sexual in nature, not like a greeting. Does this sound familiar? Listen, uh, this is good advertising. This is what you want if you're Lindy Corn, the law office of Lindy Corn, a uh, longtime attorney there in Buffalo. Now, she might want to figure out a website because this commercial displays her website but it's buffalo hyphen discrimination hyphen attorney.com you can't tell me lindycorn.com was taken k-o-r-n buffalo buffalo hyphen discrimination hyphen attorney.com that is is her website a crazy website yeah i don't i i love this commercial but have you seen the who's the the Detroit. Oh, God. Detroit. I I mention this every time we're in Detroit. (laughs) Detroit has, it seems like every billboard in the city of Detroit is for some Russian. Yeah, it's like Svetlana or something. Yeah, Yeah, Jamana Caruso or all these people have been there forever. Every billboard in the city of Detroit is for a lawyer. And they've all got alphanumeric. Yeah, Jamana, that's their name. Um, or the personal injury guys or something. And some of those commercials are bananas, too. But it's very billboard heavy in Detroit with the. Uh, law offices. They got to compete. Well, sure. My friend who, uh, I think he was rear-ended. <laughs> Jamana's uh, crazy looking. <laughs> uh, my friend who was rear-ended, he said he had like a couple hundred voicemails of people. Because like, it's like in the, when you call the police, it's in public record. And they call. 
they call like immediately after. That's why they call them ambulance chasers. I've They're like, give me the before. info on this person, and huh? I've had that happen before, where I've gotten in a car accident, and then people <clears throat> call me up like, "Hey, I'm so and so at Accident Attorneys. Just want to make sure you're doing okay. We want, we're concerned about your well being. I'm like, you don't even know me. <laughs> what are you talking about? But they want to get to know you. Yeah. They want to be concerned. They want to find out if anyone hugged you. <laughs> hugged you. My client complained that her boss hugged her <laughs> and squeezed her breasts, which felt sexual in nature. Not not like a greeting. Yeah. Has this there's, happened to you? There's some <laughs> woman that saw that commercial and like, my boss has been squeezing my breast and saying it's a greeting, but it feels sexual in nature. I gotta give Lindsay Korn a call. Thank God Lindy Korn or Lindy is Korn. on the air. Jomana. Jomana Karus. Um, did you see the story about the woman? There's a driver who was accused of killing two cyclists in Utah. Now, I've said this before, and it's really apropos of nothing, but the two most humorless groups in the United States are cyclists and pit bull owners. That being said, cyclists do have their share. You really got to keep your head on a swivel. You're out there unprotected, right? Um, so these kinds of things, unfortunately, happen all the time. <clears throat> this woman named Julie Ann Budge, ironically, refused to in her car. She was arrested after she said... That because of her IBS and her uncontrollable defecation <laughs> is why she swerved her car and hit two cyclists and then drove away from the scene, leaving both of the cyclists to expire. She blamed the crash on her irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, two brothers from California were in Utah par uh, participating in a local bike race. And uh, that's when uh, she told police that she began to uncontrollably defecate in her car, oh my goodness. causing her to swerve and hit the men. That, that's a lot of defecation. Why is it causing her to swerve? Well, she might have... <laughs> I've been dangerously close to this. If you're driving and you go to lift the leg and then more comes out and but you like why are you trying to... Not to fart. No, you're... in that... But if you're, you're if you know you have IBS, yes. you're never trusting a fart. Well, you're, 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 you're never you're never yeah. unprepared. Yeah. She's driving. It's not the first time she's ever driven with she, IBS. She goes to lift her right leg, and why, then more why, comes out, and then she jerks, and her leg goes off, and no, she loses no. control. You why is she lifting jerk. her leg to you fart? You no. Like, That's what I'm saying. If you have IBS, you don't lift your leg to fart because you don't trust a single fart ever. <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought that that was the motto of the IBS community: yes. never trust a fart. Two brothers were hit and killed while biking in Washington County. According to police in the St. George area, the crash happened near Telegraph Street and Coral Canyon Boulevard around 2 o'clock yesterday. Police say both the cyclists and the car were traveling west on Telegraph Street. The cyclists were in the bike lane. They were brothers from California competing in a local bike race. A woman from Washington who was driving the car was taken into custody. She was booked into jail last night on several charges, including automobile homicide. Oh, they don't even mention it. Yeah, how are you not going to mention the How the are you not going to talk about... And she better have had poop in her pants. Yeah, boy, if that I mean, is your, <laughs> that's your excuse, you've got some material evidence that's going to mm -hmm. need to be presented. She told the police she knew she hit two individuals, but she couldn't get her her car to stop. She mm. began uncontrollably defecating on herself. I like how they put on herself. Well, yes, if you're wearing pants, it's mostly going to go on you. So wait, she left the scene of the crime? She left the scene of the crime. Yeah. Mm. She had been admitted to the hospital the previous day and had been taking fentanyl through an IV drip. She failed all field sobriety tests. So they booked her um, as yeah. a, for a DUI. Yeah. yeah. She had a DUI in 2015. But her initial thought, <laughs> which was clearly a lie, her initial thought was, because what it, it's like a joke, right? You Oh, tell the cop you just got diarrhea, and that's why you were speeding. Yeah. That's what this woman basically She's did. She's trying to use it to get out of vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> or right. homicide. They didn't even call <clears throat> it manslaughter. They said homicide. Ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? Was I speeding? No, no, no. You killed two people back there. Uh, this is going to go on your permanent record. I'm so afraid. there's more skid marks is what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> on herself. <laughs> That's right. 
I was sitting in my car and I was trying to hug my pants <laughs> so that no more poop would come out. It did not feel like a not a greeting. A greeting. Yeah. It felt sexual in nature. I got to tell <laughs> well, I hope you, not <laughs> unloading from my lower half. I've got a break. Um, 3.30 is when your Guardians coverage will begin. Uh, after the break, I'll have uh, a couple of tickets for it. You. you want to check out Bad Flower? They're doing a show end of the month at the House of Blues. And then uh, we'll wrap up here. 35192, you want to text and we'll be back.